All right, this is also a very simple question. Yeah, so it says, let P of X is equal to two X cubed plus A X squared plus B X minus three be a polynomial given that X minus one is a factor. And um, when the polynomial is divided by two X plus one, the remainder is 10. Find the value of A and B. So this one is also very simple. You don't have to even take time or it shouldn't take most of your time solving such a question. Okay. So let's quickly begin to solve. <laughs> All right, so we've been given the polynomial P of X as that. Then they are saying, uh, given that X minus um, one is a factor. So when X minus one is a factor, when x minus one is a factor, it means that uh, when you equate this to zero and you get something like x, when this crosses the equal sign, you have x is equal to one. So uh, p of one is equal to zero because this is a factor. That's what it means. Yeah, so we are going to find p of one. So how do you find p of one? So p of one is simple. You just replace one while there is um, X in that expression. So we're going to have P of one being equal to two. We have one there. We have A one squared plus B. We have one there minus three. So P of one is equal to two times one, that is a two. Then one times uh, one squared, that is one times A. That will give us A. And then you have b times one, that will be b minus three. Then we're saying this should be equal to zero because um, x minus one is a factor. So two minus three, the answer is negative one. So we have a plus b minus one is equal to zero. Meaning our first equation becomes a plus b is equal to one. And then what do we get the second equation so that we can solve it simultaneously with, uh, to a, with uh, a plus b is equal to one. Uh, the other part says when the polynomial is divided by two x plus one, it gives a remainder 10. Meaning instead of equating it to uh, zero, like what we did here in, in the, I mean, this time around we're going to equate it to 10 because that's the remainder. So this is, th this, um, this whole method is known as remainder and factor theory. Okay, so we have two x plus one being equal to zero. So meaning when you check this to the outside of the equal sign, you have two x is equal to negative one over two over two. X is therefore going to be equal to negative one over two. So now having found this, we can find P of negative one over two, and this will be equal to two open bracket negative one over two, uh, to the power three plus a negative one over two to the power two plus b minus three. And we're going to equate this to 10 because that's the remainder that we've been told that it's going to remain. Okay, so we can simplify this and it's simple. I'm just going to multiply two times uh, a negative number raised by a, an odd number gives us a negative answer. So we have negative there and then in brackets, one over eight down there, because two raised to the power three gives you eight. Then you have plus a, a negative number raised the, to, the, to an even number, raised to the power of, which is an even number, gives you a positive. So here we expect it to, be, to still remain positive. And then two to the power two gives you what? Four. Then we have plus B, of course B has X. So we're also supposed to put negative half there. So we have a negative half B
and then we have minus three being equal to 10. Yeah, so this is now simple. So now how do you deal with such a question? So to simplify this question, I'm going to multiply, or oh, before I do, I do that, let me just simplify the first part here. Negative two times, uh, negative two times one over eight, this will give me something like this, negative uh, one over four. Negative one over four. Okay. So now to simplify this expression, I'm going to multiply the whole expression, expression by four. So that I remain with negative one there plus a minus two b minus 12 being equal to 40. So when I add negative 12 and negative uh, one, these two, I'm getting negative 13. So when I take it to the other side, or let me write it here, negative 13 plus a minus two b is equal to 40. So negative 13 crosses the equal sign. Then we have a minus two b being equal to what? 53, because when you add 40 and 13, you get 53. So you can make one of these two equations as the substitute value. So I'm going to make this one so that I have A is equal to one minus B. So all this A there, I can put one minus B. I'm going to put one minus B there. Minus two B is equal to 53. So this one will cross the equal sign. Then negative B and negative two B will give me negative three B. This will be equal to 53 minus one. So negative three B is equal to 52. So I will divide by negative three, negative three. The value of B becomes um, uh, three into five there. Three into five, it's one. Three into 22, that would be seven, something like this. Yeah, so you have something like this, remember one over three. That is our B. And then to find your A, we just replace the value of B where there is, um, I mean, in the substitute value there. So you have the value of A becomes one minus, yeah, so one minus A. So this is my, uh, sorry, one minus B. This is my B, I can just put it there. So I have 52 over negative, uh, negative three. So A is therefore going to be one minus, to be a plus because of this other minus, 52 over three. So this will be 55 over three. So it's as simple as that. I don't know if you have questions, contributions or additions. Okay. So let's choose another question. 